Right, so I'm just going to do a quick video, well, not a quick video, but over the period of about a week or so, I'm going to show you how to germinate some seeds on paper towel and how to plant them up into the seed tray afterwards. I will, I'll probably do this in about <laughs> three, three or four stages, if you can see my son behind me putting funny faces. Because I told him to be quiet. Yeah, so I'll get back to you in a minute and we'll get started. Hello, right, today I'm going to show you this method of germinating seeds, which essentially you just, all you do is take a piece of kitchen roll, fold it up so it fits in the takeaway tub. So all you need is a takeaway tub or anything similar to that. You stick your yeah, toilet you know, tissue paper in there, give it a spray, make sure it's nice and damp but not too wet, you don't want it soggy. And then take your seeds, and we've got kohlrabi. So we're gonna Place them out well on the piece of paper. Daddy! There we go. As many on as you want. Um, I recommend however many plants you want, times that number by two or three. Most of them will germinate, but you will lose a few, so... <clears throat> it's as simple as that. And we just leave them in there. And we'll get back to them in a couple of days. Pop the lid on, pop them somewhere warm. They're relatively bright, but don't put them in the sun, because they'll get too hot in there. I'll label them up. Stick them somewhere, nice and warm, and you'll be surprised how fast they germinate. So I'll get back to you in a minute. And then... Right, so here's them kohlrabi seeds. This is three days later. It's three days after putting them on this paper in this tub. As you can see, most of them have germinated. Obviously, there's one, two, three, there's quite a few which haven't still, but they might do, but you don't even need them to, you've got plenty there, which have, but yeah, so they're doing well, uh, we'll leave them for a little bit longer in this tub, uh, I'll get back to you with another update in a few days time. Okay, now, this is five days later two days after the last update and then as you can see they're all they're starting to stand up now and they're doing quite well and this is only five days after they were originally put on this paper so you can see how fast it is doing it this way uh, yeah. in a couple of more days time they'll probably be ready to pot up so I'll show you another video when I, when we get there. Yeah. I'll get back to you in a couple of days. I just wanted to quickly show you these sweet corn, which I've germinated on paper towel. Uh, they've been in here three days now. And as you can see, they've all got roots on them. Very fast germinating when you do it this way. I'm not sure how much bigger I'm going to let them get. I might wait until they all sprout and then try and pot them up and see what happens. Yeah, I've never done sweet corn this way before. 
but I thought I'd give it a go. So I'll keep you updated with that as well. Um, I'll get back to these in a couple more days as well on my next update. Alright, so I might I might put all these videos into one video. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is just an update on the sweet corn and kohlrabi that we sewed in the paper towel in the towel. Um, you can see they're getting quite big now, the kohlrabi. So uh, they'll be ready to put out into some compost. So I've put got some sieved compost because. Uh, you don't have to save it, but the stuff I've got's got loads of lumps and stuff in, so it's easier just to sieve it and put it in the seed tray. So I'm going to show you me transplanting them into there, and we've got the sweet corn, which I'm going to put in there as well, because they're uh, getting a bit tangled up in there now, so. You can see that on there, there's a bit of mould around it, so we might not plant that one because we don't want any mould getting in. Um, yeah, so I'll set the camera up and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so all I'm going to use for this is I've got one of these plant tags. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little tiny hole in the middle. I'm just going to do a couple of each just to show you. So I'm going to do two sweet corns and two kohlrabis. Do them four cells there. And I'll show you me putting these seeds in there. You've got to be very careful with the roots, obviously. And try and hold them by the leaves if you can. Sometimes the root can stick to the paper, so you can just very gently peel it up with use the plant label. Um, you also use the plant label to guide the roots down into the hole. There you go, and then just cover it over very gently. Push it down around the edges. Really, be really careful. That's one done. And the next one. So that's how you do the coal warby. It's pretty much the same with the sweet corn. I'll show you that. As you can see, the sweet corn has a very long tap root on it. So you're going to make sure you poke it right down to the bottom as far as you can get it in. very gently, make sure he's poking up straight. Once you get the root down to the bottom you can kind of try and bend it round and turn it so that that points upwards. So, try and get a close up of the root. I can if my camera will focus. Which it won't. There we go. It looks like an alien or something. <laughs> yeah. Use the plant label. Poke the root all the way down. Go. 
And some of them you will break the root and they won't work. But that's why you always say more than what you actually need. So yeah, Hi. that's pretty much right, made so up. So that's that done with the help of Megan. Hello. Hello Megan. <laughs> so we're just giving them more water now. Yeah. Do you, is that enough? A little bit more. And then that should be plenty. Thank you very much, Megan. Okay, so we'll hello. put these somewhere. Joe's gonna say hello. Hello. Well, my sister's so buddies. Yeah. Lots and lots. Lots of baby rabbits, haven't we? We're stroking six bunnies. And we'll get back to these um in a few hours. In a few days on the next update. So thank you very much for watching. Bye, to our channel. Okay, and um, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you found the information in my video useful. And uh, if you could please subscribe, that would be great. Uh, please sh share the video as well. There's Ebony and Terrell saying hello. And thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Sorry for the noise.